Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Colonial Charter Mod. Vanished. So, yeah, I looked it up and according to what I read, there's no real difference between, like, you don't need that many Hertzmen. Which is interesting. Like, it talks about how, at least in vanilla, like, the best ratio is uh, 20 by 20 will give you the most, it's like the largest that it can be. And for that, you need two Hertzmen. This isn't 20 by 20, it's not a square, so we should be fine. If it was 20 by 20, it should be able to hold 66 chickens. And I'm assuming that leghorns are very similar to chickens. I don't know, maybe they're not. But we should be just fine with one herdsman. I'll just lower it to one. And the maximum to one, I mean. That way if we build another section for chickens, we won't have two people working there. So, yeah. Just gonna kinda let things happen. Look at all that firewood. Look at this sawmill. Steel tools are here, stone is here. Just waiting on some logs. I think we should chop down some more trees. On this side. Can I get things back going? We can plant them again. So how many workers do we have right now? Four laborers, okay. We'll get a little bit of a little bit of timbering done. And of course we still have our The foresters, you know, with two out of four. I think that they're pretty much just collecting enough logs to maintain the heating. It certainly doesn't feel like we're gaining very many logs each year. Can we see more information about that in here? In production, okay, over the last one year. This year we've produced 220, we've used 126. I'm wondering if that factors in construction and firewood, or just firewood. Seems like it's factoring in construction as well. Well, assuming eventually we want to add another circle over here. I'm thinking we would want to put it the gatherer's hut. Look at this big open area. Wow. We could fit two of these things over here. One here. to put it down and then pause it and then pause it so that's one gatherer's hunt I really wish that it kept that circle on okay so right about those trees okay so a couple gatherer's huts down there And then we would want Forester's Lodges as well. As well. Let's kind of go with them. So that's the site of our future expansion. So that means we should probably just run a stone road straight to it. Or 
Where'd my bridge go? No, it's not exactly straight. Um, I don't want it to go like that. I do want it to be, like, as straight as possible, though. That will work. And then we'll just... This one is not going to be straight, but we'll... Just make it as long as it can go. Kind of like that, sure. And then they'll just have to go over the hill, because they're... I'm not going to make it... I don't want to make curved roads, roads around it. I could. It just look weird. Oh, can we make... This would be weird, but can we make a tunnel here? No, it's, it's not... It's not big enough to make a tunnel, but it's not shallow enough that we could just build a stone path over it. Alright, whatever. So, then the other thing we'd want to do is... Find that road, which is in there. Where did it go? Here it is. And this one should go over to here between these ones. Okay. Well, we've got some roads planned. Expansions for the future. We'll have them build the roads out first, and then... What it might do, just to facilitate lots of growth, is, um... I mean, we could clear-cut it, and then let it- let the gathers- let the foresters build it up again. But it might be better to just... kind of get the road in, get a couple houses over there, and then just start letting the timber- the farmers- whatever they're called, timber guys, work it. Forest Lodge, yeah. Because they would- they would do a good job. They would just go, basically, chop down trees. And then plant new ones right away. I think, in, I think in most cases it's better to use the foresters. But I'm very excited about this. All that's left is for them to actually construct. And we've got... Yeah, let's get two builders now. See if we can get them both working on that. Getting something to eat. That's not what I asked you to do. I asked you to build the sawmill. Are you making... Making steel tools? Check it out. Cranking out steel tools like a boss. Nice. I like how there are multiple, like, products that you can have each building work on. It's just, uh... I don't know, not recognizing that thing as a joist is really my own inexperience talking, but if I recognize more of the icons, it would be more obvious. Hey, seriously, you're going to come over, you're going to do one, one of 100 and then you're going to walk away? I really am not happy about that. What are you doing? Oh, you're the trader. Where'd the builder go? Did you just change jobs? Which one about that? They just changed jobs, and that's why. Finding something to eat. Placing is picking inventory. Placing inventory in storage. You must have just changed jobs. That must be the case. Well, it's finally getting done. So here's the real question is... Is the advantage of the sawmill simply a space efficiency thing, in that you can have three people chop wood in a sawmill in a smaller amount of overall space? Or is there, in addition, an extra, like, production bonus? Well, here's what we'll do. Um, once the sawmill's done, I think I will take two people off of uh, wood cutting. Now we'll take just one person off woodcutting. Well, actually, the sawmill is just considered woodcutting. I shouldn't really have any control over which one they work in. 
But we'll shut down one of the woodcutters, and we'll have one person work at the sawmill, and then we'll do a comparison of... We'll average, like, these two compared to this to see how much wood per person they make. I'm almost sure the sawmill's gonna be advantageous, but... I want to know by how much. Specifically. Alright, we can finally start to put some... Some firewood here. For future trading. Back up to 13 chickens. I'm just gonna call them chickens. They're leghorns, but... I'm sure that's just a breed of chicken or something. It's looking good. Upgrade complete. We require more Vesvin gas. We must construct additional pylons. <laughs> I haven't played StarCraft in years. Probably about a year. Looks like we're right up against the clothing limit. I don't like when they start and stop their job, so let's just raise it again. More clothes is always nice. So, how many bricks do we actually have? 18 bricks, 16 steel tools. Well, soon we'll probably end up burning through the rest of the iron tools. We have no crude tools. I kind of would prefer if if you don't have any of it, that it just not even be on the list. Which actually seems to be the case. I don't see iron... No, there's iron tools. Okay, but like crude tools, if I have none, just don't even show it. There should be a checkbox. Filter, filter zero inventory items. Almost to capacity on our first schoolhouse. We don't want to have any kids that are not educated, so we'll need to build a second schoolhouse soon. What's this? No citizens are available to work at this location. Why? Oh, because they started working in the sawmill. Okay, well, again, I want to figure out how this works. So we're going to say one person can only work here. No, that's silly. We'll do two. Don't work that one. Don't work that one. Work these, this one and these... And then we'll just take the production of the sawmill here and divide it by two and compare it against the production of this one. Seems to me like food is still kind of an issue. Like, our population's been getting much higher and we haven't really made any progress on increasing our storage. So, despite having put more and more people on work, Sorry, more and more people are doing food type jobs. How's that long stone road looking? I wonder, are you gonna like... Are you gonna start it all the way back here? Because that's where I... I first designate you are. You're gonna walk all the way out here. Now, let me guess, you probably don't have any stone. Or you're cold or something. Getting something to eat. Nice. Oh well. This road will get complete eventually. All of the stone road. We could use warmer clothing.
So our sawmill has been around for just a short period of time. It's made 92 firewood. Okay, I just saw it go from 92 to 96. Looks like it makes four at a time. Makes sense. You take one log, turn it into four firewood. These probably do the same. No, that can't be the case because it makes... It's an odd number. And it can't be three because... Um, firewood... 305 is not divisible by 3. Maybe this is the difference between, um, maybe one of our woodcutters was unskilled, uneducated. Yeah, that could be the difference. Looks like he might be producing 3. Or two. 311. It was up to 314. Okay, that time he built three. And that time he built three. And that time he built three. Hmm. One seventy six. It's just still cranking out four. I mean, it has to be faster, right? Well, let's try it. We're gonna we're gonna go down to just using the sawmill. We we'll get all three woodcutters working on the sawmill. The main difference that I've seen so far is that this this produces at a, about four per. Wait, no, there we go. That was just three. Why did it only do three there? I think it's because one of them's uneducated. So you produce three if you are not educated and four if you are. So if that's the case, maybe it is just a, sa a space-saving thing. a lot of resources just to save a little bit of space. I'm gonna go look it up on the wiki. <laughs> That's what I usually do between these videos, just check out each one, see if I can figure out what's going on with these things. But okay, I will see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.